As we start our virtual factory tour, we would like to thank you for considering Stevens Equipment. We are always happy to have customers visit our factory in person, and you have an open invitation to come and see our factory firsthand. The office space includes the sales team and the drafting department. Stevens has experienced people in plant and part sales with years of combined experience in selling, servicing, and troubleshooting your needs. Dry batch, central mix, RCC, precast, pre-stress, equipment for coal, asphalt, quarries, mines, lumber yards, charcoal, sand fracking, and power plants are the short list of industries and facilities that use Stevens equipment. Let our sales team quote and assist you with the information you need. Our drafting department has the second level area of our office completely to themselves. We have one of the most experienced teams in this industry. They have years of experience designing and drawing equipment. They are often able to develop something that will work with existing plants, competitors' equipment, and design something new to accomplish what a customer needs. We have an outside third-party engineer to sign off on our designs and verify that each plant matches up to the specific seismic requirements for the job site. Stevens Plants are Concrete Plant Manufacturers Bureau rated. Stevens is a member of the National Ready Mix Concrete Association and Association of Equipment Manufacturers. Toward the back of the property is the raw steel storage yard. Structural steel is unloaded and arranged near the saws for easy access to load and prepare for transport throughout the factory to different bays and departments. Angles, channel, and flat stock are also located on the yard for the saws, angle workers, or fabrication bays. The CNC saw area in our building features two state-of-the-art saws. The newest saw, installed in 2016, has the ability to measure and saw beams up to 24 inches in size. The CNC saws allow us to immediately deliver structure members to the production bay to accurately and quickly start construction of frames and structure. The machine shop has its own building and is now expanding with some equipment in the main shop. We have several CNC milling machines, three CNC lathes, one manual lathe, surface grinder, 200 ton hydraulic press, and the best machinist and CNC programmers in our area. We build precise machine components, shafts, plates, and other components for Stevens plants. And we have a long list of outside customers that use our machine expertise as well. We have one of the largest CNC lathes in the area with a capacity of 43 inch diameter by 157 inches long. Our machine shop already works with a great variety of manufacturers in Southern Kentucky and Northern Tennessee. We make equipment and parts for several different industries some of which include not only ready mix, precast or concrete related industries, but also food, mining, lumber, charcoal, and automotive plants and equipment. The main building has areas designed for office space, drafting department, electrical department, CNC saws, and CNC torch. The back portion of the main shop includes manufacturing space for our vents, reclaimers, aggregate frames and batchers, portable plants, stationary plants, in trust, and rectangular Empire series silos. We also have bays designed for channel conveyors, truss conveyors, radial stackers, and screw conveyors. The main building also consists of two shears and brakes, several band saws, angle iron workers, multiple overhead cranes, and four silo structure bays to assemble silo frames and structures before shipment. Portable plants are assembled and hinge portions are tested. Silo structures are assembled and matched and marked. The silo building has an overhead crane to move the rolled sheets onto the vertical rolls and to unload finished tanks. Stevens has four beds to manufacture four silos at once. A 36-foot sheet of steel is rolled in-house and Steven builds their own cones, ladders, cages, and handrails. The wash and paint prep building has two bays. One is used full-time by mechanics and maintenance department for service of company vehicles and forklifts. The second bay is designed for final inspection of welds, deslagging and chipping of each weld, and a degreaser is used to clean off grease and oil. Stevens uses high pressure washers to clean off any dirt, rust, and to degrease. Then the equipment leaves this department and is ready for our paint building. The paint building is our newest addition. We have upgraded our paint facility with a new building, a new 25 foot wide by 20 foot tall by 100 foot long paint booth. 
The booth is complete with four blowers and heaters to elevate the heat and control the drying process. The new paint booth meets all of the EPA, OSHA, and fire marshal regulations. In the electrical department, we have full-time customer assistance personnel to work with customers and their electricians. We have dedicated people who have worked for our company for many years. We are not only able to design and build motor control centers and control boxes for new Stevens equipment, but also competitors' plants. We often completely pre-wire and pre-plumb the portable plants, and some equipment can be pre-wired and pre-plumbed on many of the stationary plants. We build and design custom panels, such as, but not limited to, bin filling systems, overfill protection systems, aeration blower systems, and recycle systems. We are able to work with PLC-based systems, variable frequency drives, soft start starters, and motor control centers with main disconnects up to 800 amps in size. Motor control centers are UL508A or CSA third-party label. Let Stevens build your next electrical panel, junction boxes, and controls. The front portion of the main shop houses the old paint bays. They have now been converted to additional paint prep bays with multiple pieces of equipment being cleaned, chipped, and inspected. These bays are also used by the electrical department for final assembly of electrical components and testing. The front of the main shop also houses the CNC torch and storage space for all the smaller items the torch provides to eliminate any large scrap from being thrown away. We also manufacture in this area smaller items like scale lever systems, dust collector hoods, and our permanently lubricated gear gates. The front storage yard is for final products. This area is often overrun with finished products waiting to be delivered. Stock equipment and plants waiting for delivery are arranged and often rearranged to ship each plant. We have an overhead hoist on the yard to safely load equipment for shipping. This can be a busy area where we often have 20 plus loads a week scheduled for delivery. We have a large self-contained parts warehouse, two areas totaling over 18,000 square foot of storage and office space. The office contains an inventory control staff that track, ship, reorder, and restock parts for our plants and many competitors' plants. We also have a team of people who pull parts from the factory and pull parts for customer ship out. You can cut on Steven's team for all of your plant part needs. We also have another manufacturing facility with almost 20,000 square feet of space 30 miles away in Burksville, Kentucky. The factory began fabricating bins and hoppers early in 2016 with a shear, break, ironwork, saw, and four 10-ton and two 4-ton overhead cranes, we have the ability to fabricate a lot of different equipment. At this time, the newly opened space is being utilized to build overhead aggregate bins and dump hoppers for all of our newer plants. Stevens is also a proud supporter of the Concrete Industry Manufacturer Program at Middle Tennessee State University with a sister program at California State University in Chico and the New Jersey Institute of Technology as well as the Texas State University.